The purpose of this video is to show you how you can easily create your own custom screen using GIMP. We will be designing the following screen in GIMP by first creating a footer, then the 3D buttons, creating the logo, putting it all together, and then generating the necessary bitmap files to load onto a reach display module. First we'll be creating the footer image. Go ahead and open up GIMP and then we'll create a new image for our footer. This image will be the width of our actual display which is 480 pixels and we'll give the footer image a height of 58 pixels. So there's our new footer image. And we'll go ahead and select a background color for this image. Now to select my background colors, I went to cooler.adobe.com and created a color theme. And now I can actually copy the colors that were created and paste them directly into the HTML notation for my background color. Go ahead and change the foreground color to white and I will fill the background of my footer image. Now we'll go ahead and create a new layer for our 3D effect. We'll call this 3D. Make sure we have a transparent fill. And I also like to select snap to canvas edges. And we'll go to the selection tool. Select about half of the footer. Go ahead and select that. And then you can also type in the selection size manually. Okay, once we have our selection, we'll go ahead and shrink this selection by three pixels. Just adds a bit to the effect. Then we'll go ahead and put our gradient down by selecting the blend tool, holding control, and dragging the cursor across our selection. And now we can adjust the opacity until we have the desired effect. And you can also type in the value manually. Now we just need to save this as footer.xcf and now we can move on to creating 3D buttons. We'll start by creating a new image that is the size in pixels of our button. And we'll make sure we have a transparent fill. And we'll adjust the window. Also like to zoom in on this image a bit. We'll go to a 4 to 1 view and select the snap to canvas edges. So we'll go to our selection tool and we'll select the whole button image. And we'd like to put radius corners on this button so we'll select rounded edges and enter a radius of 15. Now we can go back to Adobe Cooler and select our background color for the button. Paste that into the HTML notation and then set the foreground color to white. And there's the background image of our button. And now we'll go ahead and create a new layer that has the 3D effect on it, just like the footer image. So we'll go back to our selection tool and we'll select the area we want to place the effect on. We can manually enter that size in as well. So we'll go ahead and shrink this selection by three pixels and then we'll go and add our gradient. So select the blend tool hold control down and drag the cursor across the selection. And now we can adjust the opacity 
to give the desired effect. Now we'll go ahead and add some images to our button. And we'll do that by going to File, Open as Layer, so we're adding our images as their own layer. And then selecting the images we want to import. Now if you'll notice these images have a transparent fill uh, which we'll show you how to do when we get to the logo portion of the video. So you can see it's in the layer dialog. We can show and hide the image. And we'll go ahead and open as a new layer the other image. And we can also see that in the layer dialog and show and hide it. So now we'll add one more layer which will show the pressed button effect. And we'll call that layer pressed. We'll go to the selection tool and we'll select the entire button. And we'll shrink that selection by three pixels. Okay. Now we'll set our foreground color to black and we'll go over and we'll fill our selection with the foreground color. Now we can set the opacity of this layer to give the desired shadowing effect for a pressed button. And then we can preview that and then save it as button.xcf. Now we can move on to creating the logo. We'll first start by opening up the Reach Technology logo. I'll resize the window and then we'll go to a view of 2 to 1. Now you notice our size, our image size is 320 by 67 pixels. We'd like to change that by going to image, scale image, and changing the height to 55 pixels. This will fit into our background a little better. Now we need to create a transparent fill. We do that by going to Colors, Color to Alpha, and you can see the preview where it has taken our white background and replaced it with the transparent fill. Now we'll go ahead and select OK.